When you're as productive as you were at USC, did you expect to be drafted? Yes. What, what was it like last weekend waiting for your name called and, and having to deal with the not, not hearing it? Um, it was it was something that was sad, saddling for me and my family, but it's something that I had to adjust to um, quickly. Um, it's something that I had another opportunity with different teams, so it wasn't like my shot of my dreams was gone um, completely. I wasn't sad or anything too long. I just had to keep going and roll with the punches. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think you, you somebody with your production didn't get drafted? Um, that I'm unsure of. Um, that's just solely on how people perceive me and or take take how my play is. So there's some people that didn't want me off their board, and I understand that. I mean, it's life. Somebody's not going to like you or understand your play uh, style. So it was just different for me. Jim Allen? Hey, Tyler. Well, one of the benefits, they say, of being undrafted is you can kind of pick the place you end up. Well, why did you end up picking the Colts? Um, just just solely uh, looking at their roster and looking at the offense that they actually ran. Um, I actually went over some of the, uh, the offenses while being at SC. We got to watch some of the NFL film there. So I was kind of not too familiar, but familiar in what they ran and, and the type of offense they were in. So I felt like I can fit that offense better. Is that anything? I mean, I don't know. You could probably reach out to, to Michael, I guess, to ask. Yeah. Him, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but yeah. Did you reach out to him when, when, when you signed with the Colts? Um, no, I didn't talk to Michael uh, up until after. He actually reached out to me before I could even get to him. He was just telling me um, congrats and just come be ready to work. Mike Chappell? Hey, what is the relationship with Michael? I mean, you guys played a long time together. What's, what's, what's your connection with him? Um, it's, it's very strong. I've, I've been knowing Michael since uh, high school. So we were rivals and then teammates and then teammates again. Um, so it's, it's been an on and off relationship in terms of having been a rival and then going to teammates and having been a receiver group. Um, they say receivers are selfish in a way, but I feel like in the group at SC, uh, we had a real, real like close bond there. Um, so just being there at USC, just knowing that it can carry on to the NFL, it wasn't like a, a turning point for me in a bad way. Pretty productive seasons with him. Did you guys compliment each other? How did it push each other? How did it work? Um, I know it'll be some games he'll have a have a uh, exit game and be some I'll have some. Um, so both both ways we just knew like we couldn't just downplay e e each other. Um, we complement each other in a way in which we don't give a defense a, a way in which they can solidify one side and stop them and scheme against them. They have to play us like in full. A quick follow up again. We, we, we saw what Micah brought to the team. What, what will you bring to this team? What what are your, your attributes? You think strengths? My strengths is uh, route running and um, just just really uh, high pointing balls. I, mean, I feel like I can just bring more of a, a different style of play to this offense in terms of just how I run my routes and how I get in and out of my breaks. Um, I feel like I'll be open majority of the time. Uh, even though it's an NFL, I know it's close coverage and I feel like it's just more space. Joel Erickson? Yeah, Joel, do you feel like you've got maybe a, a more polished game than, than a lot of other receivers yes you have as much as you have? yes uh, because I've been playing for for the time I, I was at SC and that offense um, I've been through four different offenses um, while being at SC so it was just adjustment after adjustment and I felt like I was adjusted to the game every time every year that we had to make an adjustment so I feel like my mental preparedness before every game and every situation that I get myself into was great